for those that are still saying, oh, no, they never do that when they're actually doing it. There's a guy, Alex, I quote um, in the last uh, couple of my books. He's a man called Dr. Richard Day. And he was um, an executive of Planned Parenthood, you know, came out of the eugenics movement. And he was a big uh, Rockefeller family insider. And he stood up in 1969 to address a group of pediatricians in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And he asked them to put down their pens and stop any recording equipment. I don't know why he did this. I'm glad he did, though, you know, given the information he's... he's no, this had. has ended up in the congressional record, by the way. This is... Yeah. The, yeah. And he um, uh, said, um, I'm going to tell you how the world's going to change. Now, remember, I'll reel these off quick, and this is not all of them. This is in 1969. He told these pediatricians, one of them did take notes and, and did some interviews about what he said later. Richard Day said, technology will be used for reproduction without sex, families to diminish in importance, euthanasia and the demise pill, limiting access to affordable medical care makes eliminating the elderly easier. New difficult to diagnose and untreatable diseases. Suppressing cancer cures as a means of population control. Education as a tool for accelerating the onset of puberty and evolution. Restructuring education as a tool of indoctrination. More time in schools, but pupils wouldn't learn anything. Controlling who has access to information. Schools as the hub of the community. Changing laws to promote moral and social chaos, the encouragement of drug abuse to create a jungle atmosphere in cities and towns, promote alcohol abuse, restrictions on travel, the need for more jails, more, no more psychological or physical security, crime used to manage society, containment of U.S. industrial preeminence, that's not happened, has it? Shifting populations and economies, tearing out the social roots, sports as a tool of social engineering and change, sex and violence inculcated through entertainment, implanted ID cards, microchips in other words, food control, weather control, knowing how people respond, making them do what you want, falsified scientific research, see human cause uh, global warming, use of terrorism, this 1969, ladies and gentlemen, use of terrorism, surveillance, implants, and televisions that watch you, the arrival of the totalitarian global system. And this and has been out for decades, and what's amazing is we went down to the UT professor last week who heads up Agenda 21 program, and he said, quote, the family is a tyranny, that's a quote, to our cameras, and now they're doing it all, and now people are going into puberty, girls at six, seven, eight, when it was 13, boys are being feminized, they add chemicals to everything, the White House science czar has written four books admitting it they now admit the chem trailing it's all happening we're in it we're in it david yeah and here's the frankfurt school of social engineering which came out of the frankfurt fiefdom of the rothschilds back in the 30s i think it was this was their wish list the creation of racism offenses, continual change to create confusion, bracket C. Obama. The teaching of sex to children, huge immigration to destroy national identity. The promotion of excessive drinking. L look at the cross references here. Um, emptying of churches, which is undermining. Look at what's on television. It's all there to destroy you. Look at the messages. But here we go, encouraging the breakdown of the family, control and dumbing down of the media, dependency on state or state benefits, and then, of course, pulling them out once people are, are dependent. Legal system with bias against victims of crime. The, 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 the documents and the writings that are there from way back predicting what we're seeing now are, are not, not a few, to say the least, and it's happening. And people need to get out of that river in Egypt. They need to get out of denial very, very quickly because your children are being poisoned, you're being poisoned, your children are being indoctrinated and programmed and turned into software programs at school. Uh, you're being poisoned in the air. You've been poisoned from the sky, poisoned in your food, poisoned in your water, poisoned by vaccines. I mean, how bad does it have to get before people in vast, vast numbers realize that the world ain't like they thought it was? Because if they don't realize soon, then we are, we are up the swanee in, in need, very much need of a paddle. Well, David, that's my next question for you. And, and you know.